Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the snow is gone, but it's going to remain fairly windy throughout the rest of the night, and it's going to get a lot colder. Wind chills late the night will be below zero. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing the snow still hanging out across Cape Cod and even Nantucket occasionally. Meanwhile, here in the Ocean State, nearby Connecticut, Massachusetts, all is quiet in terms of precipitation, but it remains very windy. Wind advisory in effect for the potential for gusts of 50 miles an hour from the northwest across all of Rhode Island, nearby Mass, out on the Cape, where it's still snowing. We've got a high wind warning, gust to 55 miles an hour. These winds are or could be strong enough to take down some uh, tree limbs and obviously some isolated power outages are still possible for tonight. Temperatures in Smithfield 21, 23 Providence, Westerly 23, New Bedford right now is at 25 degrees. But you factor in these winds and it feels like it's in the single digits to lower teens, feels like 12 in Westerly, 7 Providence, feels like 5 degrees there in Smithfield. Take a look back at the snowfall reports from earlier in the day. New Bedford, the jackpot at uh, five, a Cushnet at four, same for Taunton, Gloucester at four in Rhode Island, the uh, jackpot there in Rhode Island, TF Green Airport in Warwick, three and a half inches, and in Situate picked up a three point three inches earlier in the day. You can see in the sky cam picture it's shaking around a little bit here. Temperatures are at 23 degrees, but now the winds from the west northwest. Look at that 23 miles an hour with still some higher gusts over in Newport. We've got 23 degrees with the wind from the west at around 18 miles an hour. Let's get a look at the big picture here. Satellite radar combination showing some snow still lingering across Cape Cod. Clouds still hanging tough here in uh, Rhode Island nearby Connecticut. Those clouds will tend to break apart throughout the night. It'll remain uh, very windy and it'll be pretty frigid throughout the nighttime tonight. Tomorrow it'll be windy in the morning and a frigid start to the day, but the winds will begin to relax a little bit for the afternoon and we'll have plenty of sunshine. It'll be a little bit warmer tomorrow afternoon as well. Let's take a look at this with our neighborhood future cast. Here we are around 8 o'clock this evening. The snow hanging out for a little bit and then gone. And then we're looking at the skies clearing out and we're looking at a sunny start to your Monday sunshine into tomorrow afternoon as well. Your future cast for tonight. Overnight low temperatures around 11 in the city. Wouldn't surprise me if there are some inland locations in the single digits. Do expect blowing and drifting snow to uh, briefly reduce your visibility and any snow that ends up on the roads will obviously lead to snow covered roads and obviously that could be a little slick. So use caution out there driving winds from the west north uh, west northwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour for tomorrow morning sunshine 26 degrees by late in the morning. But again, Starting out really cold with wind chills 0 to 10 degrees below zero. Wind still from the west, uh, from the northwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour. 33 degrees for your uh, Monday afternoon with sunshine. Winds will be diminishing a little bit from the northwest, 10 to 15. Here's that seven day future cast. We are expecting to see a pretty decent day tomorrow with those winds uh, relaxing throughout the course of the day. Your Tuesday, we are going to be seeing a bit of a warm up. Milder temperatures arriving through the day with sunshine giving way to clouds. By the time some precipitation gets here on Tuesday, it looks like it'll be too warm for anything but rain. So we're going to be seeing some rain develop late in the day here in southeastern New England. For Wednesday and Thursday, gets a little windier. Friday into Saturday, might find a little bit of snow arriving. Doesn't look like it'll be a major thing at this point in time. Me and next Sunday, we could be dealing with some more scattered snow showers.